to or back to my channel so today I'm back with a very 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 exciting video I'm gonna be unboxing my new MacBook Pro if you guys watch my vlogs you might know that my current MacBook is kind of struggling very full on storage I use my external drive for everything so I'm not even sure how it's full on storage because I literally don't even use the internal storage it takes up a lot of time trying to delete stuff just to be able to work it's also really slow I get the rainbow wheel a lot and I decided to just invest in the new MacBook. This is the one with the M1 chip, so it's a way faster processor, way better for editing. I've kind of had my eye on this for a while, so I'm really excited for this. And I just wanna say thank you so much to you guys for supporting my channel. I really couldn't do this without you guys, so thank you so much for watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate you all so much. I covered up my address with this piece of paper. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos. If you'd like me to do more tech unboxing type videos on my channel, comment below what your favorite Apple product is. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. And let's just get into this unboxing. Here it is. I've actually had this for a few days, but I was like waiting till I could film this to open it. That's a lot of self-control. Oh my gosh, I can see it in there. It's so beautiful. Here it is. Oh my gosh, look, it's stunning. I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. So excited. I spend more time editing than I do anything else in life. This is really gonna be a huge improvement to my life. I'm so excited. I actually didn't even look at it in the store because I just knew like I needed a new one. It's just kind of like, okay, I'm upgrading the specs, you know? Let's unbox it. it looks like I'm gonna pull this little tab here. So exciting. Oh my gosh. I think everybody probably knows this, but there's like Apple has measured like the optimum anticipation time. So this like opening the box, it's not like it doesn't open too fast or too slow. It's like the perfect time of anticipation or something. Anyways, we're gonna open it. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Oh, it is kind of thick. I've heard that these are kind of thick. It is quite a bit thicker than my other one. I'll do a comparison. It's gonna be so shiny and new. I feel like I didn't do that right. So nice. It's got a different feel to it than my current one. I'm really scared I'm gonna scratch it. I need to get a case or something. It has like a different feel. We're gonna set that aside for now. Show you guys what's in the box. So we got the little charging box. Got a little charging cord. It's a totally different charging cord than my MacBook. The cord is like a totally different material than like any other charger I've had from Apple. It's like a fabric material. I don't know what's in here. I think this is just like a little pamphlet or something. Here it is. It is quite a bit thicker than my current MacBook. It has an SD card port size difference from the new one versus my old one. So this is MacBook Pro from 2018 and this one does not have the chip obviously really quickly i just want to tell you guys the specs like the exact macbook that i ordered this is the 14 inch macbook pro in silver um this is the m1 pro with 10 core cpu 16 core gpu 16 core neural engine and then i upgraded the unified memory to 32 gigs the macbook i've now has 16 gigs and it just runs really slow so upgrading the unified memory will allow you to like multitask more have more apps running and open so upgrading the unified memory will basically allow my laptop to do more multitasking and run more things at once as far as the storage i got one terabyte of storage currently my laptop has like 200 gigs and the storage is definitely a problem so i feel like one terabyte will be a good amount even though i don't really use a lot of the internal storage it still somehow kind of fills up there's an sd card slot a magsafe port hdmi port and three thunderbolt four ports apparently and then there is touch id i think that is kind of like all of the specs so let's just go ahead and get it set up i am so excited let's open it up i'm literally so excited whoa the keyboard is like so different oh my gosh hello i love it i like that their keyboard is like silver so like i'm kind of curious what the difference is let me here's the difference the other one has black keys but like a silver background 
Okay, I'm like really scared I'm gonna drop it, but this one's like all, I'll like show close up. There is no touch bar. The other one has a touch bar. I feel like I really don't use it that much. There is a little touch ID button. I guess let's just go ahead and get this thing set up. That was really quick, we're already on like the transferring part of this. If you have information on another Mac or Windows, you can transfer it to this Mac. You can also transfer from a time machine backup. I should have done that. I should have backed it up. Wait a minute, is there like the thing that makes the cord longer? Like the extra cord? You know? I guess I should get the other one. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a process. I feel like this is gonna take a minute, so we're gonna take a brief pause. Just wanted to show you guys my super cute new phone cases. I'm actually partnering with Casey on this video, so thank you so much to Casey for sponsoring. I literally love these phone cases so much, and they also make laptop cases as well. So if you are getting a new laptop and you wanna get a super cute and protective case, Case buys the best. So I have this phone case. I also got several other ones. They are all so cute. So I'll show you guys the new phone cases I picked up. These are all part of the Recase Fi collection. They're made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. The Recase Fi technology upcycles end-of-life phone cases, bioplastic, excess plastic to give new life to post-consumer waste. They're literally crushed upcycled phone cases made of crushed plastic, which requires less processing and reduces Case Fi's carbon footprint by 20%. The speckled design in the case bumper is actually the crushed up Recase Fi technology. Case Fi's cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature an antimicrobial coating that helps keep your case germ-free, killing up to 99% of bacteria and preventing bacteria from sticking to the case surface. They support wireless charging technology, so they are compatible with QI. Something I love about Casefy is that they are so protective. Their Cheatech 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. I'm gonna test out Casefy's military grade drop protection here on screen so you can see how the cases hold up and protect your phone. As you can see, my phone looks fine after dropping it. I drop my phone so much in a day, so I love having case by cases so I can know that my phone is gonna be protected when I drop it. If you guys have any old phone cases laying around, you can actually recycle them through Case Defy's free Case Defy program. You can protect your phone and the planet with Case Defy's crushed cases. They're so cute and they're made of recycled materials and upcycled phone cases. If you guys have any friends or family members with birthdays coming up, Case Defy cases are great gifts for friends and family. They are always my go-to for gifts because everybody loves a cute new phone case. I actually do have a discount, so you can go to casefy.com slash emilygrace to get 15% off Casefy's new Recasefy collection today. So I'm going to have that link below at the very top of my description, so you can just click that link and shop. Once again, that is casefy.com slash emilygrace to get 15% off Casefy's Recasefy collection today. They're so cute. I literally love mine. It looks like nothing happened in the time I showed you guys the phone cases. When I got this MacBook originally, I clicked like turn on, turn off iCloud and erased everything on all of my devices so i'm a little bit triggered right now that i'm gonna do something wrong and now it just told me that icloud is not connected i'm scared i'm literally scared i'd like to think i'm smart and i can just do this on my own but now i'm scared i understand that it's running low on power but i only have so many outlets <laughs> select a mac time issue backup or other thing i'm like the queen of messing things up it looks like it has found the information it wants to transfer so i have like 100 gigs of stuff so we're gonna click continue, I guess. Create a secure password. Okay, we're using the keyboard for the first time. Terms and conditions, agree. Why do I have the rainbow wheel on the new one? Do you guys see that? For accepting the terms and conditions. I really feel like the 13 and the 14 inch is not a huge difference. Like these kind of look the same. Transferring documents. By the way, I'm gonna reply to comments on my new video. So if you're watching this, comment something that I can reply to. 157,000 files. Am I reading that right? Five hours remaining. It's quite a bit later, but I think it just finished transferring everything. It took a while. It was like 30 minutes and then stuck at five minutes for like 30 minutes. So it really, I think it took over an hour. Oh. not connect to iCloud because of a problem. Signing in to my Apple ID. I do love that it has a touch ID because that is so convenient because you can just use that instead of typing in your password. Oh my gosh, look at it. It literally looks just like this one. All my stuff is on there. Look, 
I have my background, my folders, every, literally everything is on there. It looks different. Like the screen definitely looks a lot bigger and it already has like, I like the little dock to be magnified. So that is already on there. I know I usually have to change that. Let's open Google Chrome and see if all my bookmarks are still there. So it looks like everything really did transfer. So nice. The screen definitely does seem bigger now that there's actually like something on the screen. It does seem quite a bit bigger. I need to download Final Cut Pro. We're gonna do that first. I'm gonna fix my little profile picture thing. Sorry, I'm just like all over the place right now. Now that it's set up, I'm so excited. Let's find a good picture. So I updated my picture, although I don't really like it. Everything is up and running. I think I'm just gonna do a few like customizations. I have like a list of some things that I wanted to kind of like change, customize, but it looks like most everything transferred, so I might not need to really customize as much as I thought. MacBook. I think everything is all set up. Typically, I like to change the screensaver. I like the little clock thing. I just download it online. I like to change the wallpaper. I like the highlight color to be pink. I like to make sure the dock is the way I like it. I like the little magnifying feature. Just a whole bunch of random things. I kind of just had like a list on my phone of some things I wanted to change and update and make sure it was kind of like the same. I like to add Google Chrome, Final Cut Pro, make sure all my bookmarks are in Google Chrome. Literally all of that was the same so there really wasn't much to change. You can also change the folder icons. Julie Christ has a whole like video on that. I kind of changed them to white so mine actually transferred like that so they were still white instead of like the blue color. Here it is. It's so nice. I'm really excited to start editing on it. It is a little bit thicker than my current MacBook. Like right now it's a little bit thicker even open then this one is closed it's gonna be faster and the screen is bigger so i'm really excited to use it i'll definitely keep you guys updated and vlogs and everything how i like it i think that is everything for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed definitely give it a big thumbs up if you did comment down below your favorite apple product and thank you so much for watching my channel subscribing liking commenting i really appreciate you guys and all your support and if you're not subscribed definitely make sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell follow me on instagram at onlygrace.26 Thank you so much to Case Five for sponsoring this video. Definitely make sure to go to casefy.com slash Emily Grace. You can get 15% off the Re Case Fight collection. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a couple days for my next video. Bye.